22 Most Insane Prehistoric Animals. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, and welcome back to another video. Dinosaurs seem to garner all the attention when it comes to scary, large, frightening creatures that once roamed our Earth, yet there are animals that are way more intimidating or that have been around for much longer than the dinosaurs have, and I hate to break it to you, but some may still be around somewhere in the depths of our ocean. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed and ring the bell icon so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Dunkelosteus. At least you can rest assured that the Dunkelosteus is not still around, otherwise you'd never set foot in the ocean again. It was a 33-foot-long armored fish that was around during the Devonian era, roughly 358 to 382 million years ago. The creature lacked teeth, but inside its jaws were razor-sharp protrusions that could pierce and cut through its prey like a hot knife through butter. These protrusions never stopped growing, and they would rub against each other, continually sharpening each other. It weighed as much as four tons, and fossils have been found in North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco. Megalania. These insanely massive lizards used to inhabit Australia, no surprises there, and are the largest known terrestrial lizard to have ever existed. They are from the Pleistocene Epoch, which is around 2.6 million to 11,000 years ago, and the most recent fossil of this lizard is said to be around 50,000 years old. The Megalania is believed to have had toxin-secreting glands in its mouth, making the animal slightly venomous. Acanthostega. 416 million to 358 million years ago, the world experienced the Devonian period, where it was common to see animals moving from land into water. Even though the animals could transition like this, they were better equipped for living in water. The Acanthostega wasn't big, around four inches, and researchers are still trying to figure out why this guy had legs, because he would have really battled to spend time on land with the way the feet and legs were formed. Helicoprion. This crazy prehistoric animal has puzzled researchers for a very long time, and a lot of money has been invested in researching and figuring out a lot of unanswered questions. It all began with the fossilized remains of a fish, which showed a whorl of teeth. Up until 2013, that was all researchers had. Eventually, more fossils were found, confirming that the whorl took up the entire lower jaw and that there were no teeth on the top jaw at all. It is believed that it fed on soft sea life like squid and other cephalopods. This shark-like fish was found 290 million years ago, and they were prominent to the shores of North America. Arthropleura. Let's give a silent thanks that we're not exposed to some of these creatures anymore, because coming across one of these mid-hike will have you running for your life. This millipede was eight and a half feet long, and it was around during the Carboniferous era, dating back 359 to 299 million years ago. Despite its scary looks, they were herbivores and fed on dead plant matter. Fossil trackways prove that this creature could move at rapid speeds and is considered one of the largest invertebrates vertebrates that ever existed. Titanoboa. These gigantic beasts roamed the Earth 60 million years ago. It's officially the largest snake that ever lived and reached lengths of up to 50 feet. These snakes were some of the first creatures to emerge after the dinosaurs were all wiped out, and that was a few million years later. Prey was constricted before being swallowed, and they inhabited hot, humid climates. Anzu. The name is derived from ancient Akkadian mythology and is a reference to the feathered demon Anzu. These unusual specimens were on Earth 66 million years ago and were prevalent in what is now South Dakota. They were 11 feet from beak to tail and were omnivores. They would likely have been around the same time as the T-Rex, Ankylosaurs, and Triceratops. Not too much is known about this relatively new species, even though there has been a mounted skeleton of the creature at the Smithsonian Museum in Pittsburgh for years. It was just referred to as, quote unquote, that Oviraptorosaur from the late Cretaceous of North America. At least he has a name now. The Leo Pleuridon. This beast has researchers somewhat undecided as to their actual length. Some believe they were 50 feet, while others go for a more reserved figure of 20 feet. Either way, one fifth of the animal was made up of its head alone, and inside that rather large head was a mouthful of rather large teeth. And even the 20 footed version could eat a man whole. Although not incredibly fast, these agile swimmers would attack in a similar fashion to crocodiles and were around during Middle Jurassic period approximately 160 million to 150 million years ago. Pterygotus. 
Despite its small size, well, if you had to compare it to like other prehistoric predators, the pterygotus was an excellent hunter in shallow waters. It would lie patiently and wait for prey to go by and then quickly seize it with its claws. They roamed our planet during the early Devonian period. Dorudon. It was roughly 40 to 33 million years ago that you could spot a durodon in the ocean's waters, and they are a perfect example of the intermediate stage of the evolution of the whale that we know today. This whale had a pair of hind flippers and reached lengths of 16 feet. They fed on small fish and mollusks and were prevalent in the warmer shores of Pakistan, Egypt, the United States, New Zealand, and the Western Sahara. Sarcosuchus. It was 40 feet in length, and this Cretaceous-era crocodile could move between land and water with absolute ease. Found in Africa and South America, this monster had 132 teeth, and he was larger than any dinosaur that lived in the same environment. And we know this because of evidence left behind of the large prey that the Sarcosuchus feasted on. Basically, he ate other dinosaurs. Camaroceras. These squid-like creatures were around roughly 470 million years ago and would lurk in the murky depths of the ocean. They would use their sense of smell to hunt their prey and would grasp their prey with their tentacles and then crush it with their sharp beaks. The partial shell of a Camaroceras was found, which measured 30 feet long. Mauisaurus. Anything that is named after the Maori god Maui is bound to be massive, and the Mauisaurus certainly lived up to its name. The neck of this beast measured 49 feet. The overall length of the beast was around 66 feet, and thanks to all the vertebrae in the long neck, this animal was exceptionally flexible. They were around during the Cretaceous era, and any animal hopping into the water to avoid being eaten by like a T-Rex or a Velociraptor would have been subjected to this. They were believed to only exist off the coast of New Zealand. J. Coleopterus. This is basically a giant sea scorpion, and they could reach lengths of eight feet. These prehistoric sea monsters had segmented bodies with several specialized limbs with some sporting spikes. They lived approximately 390 million years ago and could easily snatch up fish as they swam by. One was believed to have had a single claw that was a foot and a half long. There were many smaller sea scorpions, but this one was the largest known arthropod ever discovered. Basilosaurus. This is one of the first recognized prehistoric whales and has been dubbed the King Lizard. The whale was initially mistaken for a prehistoric reptile, hence the name King Lizard. They used eel-like movements to move in the water. At one point in time, their bones were actually used to make furniture. This was during the 18th century, so it wasn't known that they were sitting on the bones of prehistoric animals. This whale is the state fossil of Mississippi and Alabama, and they were alive around 40 million to 34 million years ago. Chronosaurus. This short-necked pleosaur was 30 feet long and had teeth that were an impressive 11 inches long. They were part of the reason why it has the name Chronosaurus, named after Cronus, the king of the Greek titans. It's believed that these giant creatures laid eggs on land like a turtle due to the shape of their flippers. These guys were around during the early Cretaceous period, and their fossils have been found off the coast of Australia and Colombia. Microraptor. Weighing in at a mere two pounds, the Microraptor is just that, really micro. If you were to spot this creature today, you might think that it was a pigeon that came last in line when it, you know, came to looks. This feathered four-winged bird was a genuine raptor and came from the same family as the Velociraptor, although it was considerably smaller. This micro beast feasted on insects and was around 125 million to 113 million years ago. Utah Raptor. No guesses as to where this prehistoric animal was originally found. It's Utah. It's been said that this guy could take down a T-Rex. One of the things that set this dinosaur apart was the huge second toe on its hind legs. This was used as a weapon to tear open its prey. They were thought to roam Earth around 125 million years ago. Manta rays. Manta rays as we know them evolved around 20 million years ago, and it's crazy to think that we may still find them as big as this in our ocean. This picture is 100% real, and this gigantic ray was caught by Captain A. L. Kahn in 1933. It weighed 5,000 pounds and measured 20 feet in length. It was caught off the coast of Brielle. Over the years, the evolution of the genus Mobula meant the dangerous stinger would eventually disappear, except for the man 
manta ray, who has been known to put that neurotoxin-covered spike directly through human limbs, so never mess around with one of these if you happen to catch one. Liviatin melvilli. This was a whale that was so huge it could eat another whale. Imagine it as a cross between an orca and a sperm whale. It boasted the largest teeth of any animal that actually used their teeth to eat, each one measuring an impressive 1.2 feet. They lived and shared an ocean with the Megalodon, both competing for limited food resources. Mosasaurus. Its claim to fame was a role in the movie Jurassic World. Let us introduce you to the Mosasaurus. This prehistoric animal was able to swallow its prey whole, but that would have been far too kind to the victim. So instead, the Mosasaurus would slice his meal into bite-sized pieces with their backward bending teeth and enjoy every mouthful. Research suggests that these creatures spent their entire lives in the ocean and that they gave birth to live young. The Mosasaurus was around during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 to 66 million years ago. But before we get to number one, do you guys have a favorite prehistoric creature? Or did we miss one on our list? Let us know in the comments down below. Plesiosaurs. These dinosaurs first appeared around 203 million years ago and were the main inspiration behind our infamous Nessie. When Mary Anning, a well-known paleontologist, brought in fossils of one of these guys, she was accused of forgery. Fortunately, the opinions were changed very quickly. 